I want to show you how to get and view the Betfair historical data without needing to learn a programming language. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to format it and explain how it can be used. The only thing you'll need is access to Excel or software that you'll be able to open a .csv file. We'll be looking at football data and please press the subscribe button to be notified of the follow up videos in this series. So in order to do this, we're going to need to use two websites. The first one being the exchange historicaldata.betfair.com so it's historicaldata.betfair.com don't worry about writing it down there will be a link in the description so first of all we're going to have to log into it as it wouldn't work unless we logged in i have said you're going to need excel because you will need it in order to deal with it uh, but you won't have to learn a programming language and other than excel everything you're going to see is free so we're going to select our plan. So we're going to select the basic plan. And the reason for this is because the basic plan, every sport is free. There is quite a hefty fee for any of the other plans. And the only difference really is tick volume. So if you're just trying to have a look at how a price has moved in the market uh, on something like football, then one minute ticks isn't, isn't too bad. Horse racing, if you're looking at a, a five furlong race, uh, it's going to be over before that minute's up so you can see why you'd need stuff for that there is a discounted price plan section at the bottom where you can have a look at some stuff for free so uh, most of it's in the year of 2020 because it is historical data uh, as you can see all them sports are free for each month and i'll show you how to get them if you want them later on so exactly the same way we're going to uh, select our sport and in this case we're going to be selecting football uh, annoyingly it's called soccer on here but we'll look the other way we're then going to select which month we want so we will select for argument's sake may of this year and it will also populate to may of this year so we're going to add that to purchases and we see that zero pounds zero pence i'm going to purchase that and confirm so that's 396 megabytes do not press the download button you can do if you want but that's going to download the whole 396 megabyte and that's not what we're going to look at so we're going to go to custom download and before i do the other site we use which is historical data processor um, you can access by clicking the betfair historical data processor link there but um we'll do that in a moment so we're going to go to my data because that's where all our purchase downloads are and we're going to go over to the football and in this case we'll pick although we downloaded to show you how to do it with may we're going to pick uh, let's go with uh, march so we'll pick march is football and then we're going to select an event we want to see so if we look for we'll take the first week of march and we can either download the, everything we can download selecting market types so we could just download if we wished for an over under two and a half goals so the 25 is two and a half is just no decimal and it shows us 1995 files in there three megabytes across the seven days we can download uh, match odds and you can see as a click through these there are all these markets you can go and have a look at if you're looking for a particular team uh, you can do this by selecting event name and in this case we'll select uh, so there's only going to be one of them we'll select liverpool so this will narrow the files down to we've got five so on the over and under two and a half goal and if we go down to match odds we'll just find that a second match odds there are five files under that which is fine so we're going to click to add to downloads and as we do that will come into a download folder underneath so we're going to access that by clicking download and that will download into a zip as you see i've been doing it previously we're then going to open that zip file and we're going to go into the market so uh, as you can see uh, the basics the package we went for 2023 is a year it's march so there was games on the first six and fifth now i do believe there's probably going to be an under 21 game or um some sort of uh, other liverpool team or team with liverpool in the name so if we go back to march and we can see that march 
the 6th was a Monday, March the 5th was a Sunday, so we'll probably say if we're going with a Sunday. There's two markets there, so we're going to select the top one for argument's sake. If we're not happy, we can always change it. As you can see, there's different file size types, so we'll go to the top one. I'm going to select the largest file, so I'm going to drag that onto my desktop. Once it's there, it's just easy to find. Uh, you can develop your own file system, whichever way you want to do it. We're going to, then going to select historical data processor, link in the description. We're going to select our historical data file. And in this case, we are going to go to here, click open. And oh, we can see this was Man United uh, versus Liverpool. And we're looking at the match odds. We're then going to go and select our download settings. now. Under the selection criteria, I would select things like uh, MD name and status. And under here, I'll have MD name in play. And so the ones I usually uh, use are publish time in play, selection underscore MD name and selection underscore last traded price. So make sure I've got all them collect, uh, selected. I believe I have so if you only want to look at in play which we'll do for this one we can turn off pre-play so that takes everything out of in play which makes this a bit redundant but it's better to be safe than sorry um, this part doesn't really matter uh, due to the basic plan so we're gonna hit save and then we're gonna download CSV settings this will bring a new zip up which will then open and that brings us our CSV file, which I'm going to open in Excel. Once this open, if we're going to have a look at, so it can be a bit overwhelming all the data. If we're going to have a look at, say, the match odd markets for Liverpool, because we want to see how they're going to move, we can take away market ID, as we don't need that. Um, the market name, we know it's match odds, as we've only got one market down. The in play, and this is why we take that part uh, included, is because we don't want to look at anything that wasn't in play. So if the game uh, was not in play, so it was traded before or after the market, we don't want that false to be included. Um, you can check you got them all by clicking at the top and selecting data, and then going to filter, and then just make sure there's no false in there. We're also going to remove the selection there and we're going to leave we're going to take out the active status or selection status so we're left with these columns which are in play to make sure it's true our selection id our last traded price and the time now the time the published time is in a weird format if you click on it you can see it says the 5th of march 2023 16 31 and 7 seconds so 31 minutes past four and seven seconds um on the 5th of the March 2023 this is when that price was recorded we're going to select that column right click and click format cells then we're going to go to custom and we're going to go down to because this is all on the day so if you were going to look at pre traded markets like the horse racing for example where you might want to have a look at it from the night before into the day um, you can leave this on and just select it for the time uh, you go to uh, day, month, month, year, year, uh, hour, hour, minute, minute, but we just want hour and minute. So that one there, that gives us a better time. So we can tell this game roughly kicks off around half four. Um, in order to make this simpler to look at, we're going to add in two columns. So we're going to do equals uh, in order to add a formula in. We're going to select the time and then we're going to put a minus signal, uh, minus sign, and then select the time again. And then if you're on Windows, I'm going to press F4, which is going to add in the two dollar signs, which makes this an absolute reference. It just means that when we drag it down, it'll always take into account this first box up here. So if it hit enter, we can see that's the start of the game. I will drag this down all the way to the bottom. Uh, being a bit slow. So that's all the way to the bottom and you'll notice it says one hour 53 minutes. That's because it's the time from kickoff. So uh, if there's any injury time or there is 
uh, like half time will be included as the is the market still classed as in play but it gives you you can sort of work out um, roughly when it's going to be uh, I suppose up to the first half when it's the 26 minute you know it's 26 minutes in or roughly we're then just going to put an equals for the odds but before we do that sorry uh, we're going to select which graph we want to look at first so say if we pick at uh, we pick Man United and we just want to have a look at the Man United graph to see what the market odds did we're going to do equals and then just the odds and include that all the way down so that's to the bottom and then just f uh, to make the graph a bit easy to look at as it comes to the end of the game you might want to remove these thousands I'll show you that in a moment so if I click onto here and list it as uh, Man United match odds and now highlight both columns and click insert and then click graph we're now going to be given a graph which is fully customizable um, I like to put it in grey just because it's a bit easy to read on the white background uh, it's going to show the match odds now there's very little movement in here and that's because of how big this is up at the top so if you wanted to see before the price completely closed uh, you'd remove the last couple of thousand um, even to the point of where is it the 200 as you can see it's dithering around unless that's something you're looking at specifically then you don't um, you don't need it in there so let's click onto the graph and you can see we still have uh, this big swing so you can go a bit further down so if you wanted to have a look um, and that's primarily because of um, the, what the score line would have been if we take it down to a bit further although you, you can zoom in or you can change the graph type to whatever you want um, we'll click insert graph and we can see more of a stable price onto this so uh, the draw will cover that if we just change that over to the draw we're going to include all the match odds again and by double clicking there oh no that won't fill it out if we drag it all the way down to the bottom again and we'll discount up to that point I'm going to go insert graph and we can see the draw odds now the odds of these move further quickly it's, it's probably a graph you similar you'll see to uh, on Betfair what we will take is if we go back to the historical data so as we've now selected March of the football data we've downloaded from uh, soccer March it's going to auto populate here we're then going to have a look at for a very specific date so we're going to go over the first to the seventh and now we can select our market type so we can either have total goals Asian handicaps correct scores whatever market there was on Betfair for that particular event you can have that so we're going to have a look for overs unders two and a half goal market uh, you're not going to know you're going to get every over and under two and a half goal market for every game that was on Betfair, which is a total of 1,995 um, in that period. You can narrow it down by country, so you could select Great Britain, GB, um, for 6,842 of them. Or if there's a, uh, a particular team you want to have a look at, uh, we'll select an event name as Liverpool. So 215 and we're going to go over under two and a half goals so it's 25 because there's no decimal there so we've got five markets that's fine we don't need to select a country on this so we're going to add to our downloads that's going to present here with zero megabytes which is just means it's a small file so we're going to click download and that should download into your browser you can see i've done a few of these already so i'm going to open up the zip file and then basic is the plan we selected uh, opened up to that basics the plan we selected uh, 2023 is a year March of that and there's three days that Liverpool are playing I suspect that one of them will be like an under 21s game or Liverpool women's or something like that so we'll go for the fifth as I believe that was a Saturday and we're going to select the top one as there are two markets there so we'll select the top one and that's got four and a half uh, 4.4 KB in and the other one had 1.5 so we're going to select that one which is a larger market 
we're not actually going to try and open that um, we're going to drag it to our desktop so all we're going to do is drag that to our desktop or extract it to our desktop either way so you can hit extraction and then extract it that way if you're unsure how to extract a file you will have to YouTube that uh, to find out so we're going to go back to historical data process and we're going to load in our new file which is here on the desktop so we'll click open and we see we selected the over two and a half goal mark it was over two and a half goals so we're going to change our settings just to include um, the MD name and we want to know if it was in play so we just select the in play as well we're going to save that you don't it will you can select the not in play and in play at the bottom doesn't always work perfectly so it's always best to have that in as well so i'm going to sw switch pre-play off uh, because i only want to have a look at the in play odds and i'm going to download as a csv as you see i'll open this file now and it will give it to me as a csv file which if i double click is going to automatically open up into excel for me and that's give us all the data we need so we'll just uh, expand these column sections we're not going to need the market id uh, we're making sure that everything's in place true the best way to do this would be selecting at the top hitting data and then filter and then when we select on the top we can just make sure that it's only true or available selection we don't need so we can delete that and we uh, the only other column we need is the over and under as we're looking at the we want to look at say the overs market we will just select the over or under as we do it but before we do that we're just going to format this first column which is a time and date so that 30.06.7 um, is actually the 5th of march um, of half four uh, i believe this particular game i've downloaded is yep it's the liverpool versus man united uh, over two and a half goals uh, market so as I select here I'm going to reformat the date and time I'm going to do that by clicking right clicking highlighting the column at a format cell now uh, we're going to go to custom if we we're going to have a look at pre in play odds where we wanted to have a look say where a horse had traded the night before then you would be looking at have it including the date and time but as we're only doing in play, it's only the time that matters to us. So we're going to go hours and minutes. So I'll click OK. We now no longer need the in play as it's true. But we're going to need to format this time into a time that's better or easier to read, should I say. So over here, we're going to do equals. We're going to select the time, then minus, and then we're going to select the time again. Um, before you press anything else on windows we're going to press f4 which is going to add in the two dollar signs before the a and before the two all that means is this is absolutely referenced in the formula so when you drag it down it'll always look for this second a2 so the, the as we drag it down this first one will go to b2 um sorry it'll go to um a3 a4 a5 a6 but we always want that to stay to a2 so if i hit enter that's going to say zero because that's the time it kicks off uh, the market goes in play so we'll just hit market in play minutes now this will get a bit confusing after half time because um it will show as uh, like an hour and something an hour and um so an hour and seven minutes which isn't the length of the game so up until half time because it can't factor in whether um there was added time or not but we do know before half time 42 minutes was the 42nd minute um the games obviously traded as an in-play market during half time so that's why it includes and you couldn't split it down we're then going to go equals and we're going to do the odds so we're going to select the odds on this one uh, and hit enter so it's just equals select the odds that correspond to the same line and then double click this cross in the corner and that should fill all the way down to the bottom so it's just good practice to make sure that's happened we now want to select the market we're looking at so in this case we're looking at the overs market so we click ok and we can now make a graph so we're going to look at the over 2.5 Goal market. So 
So if we select both columns and click insert, we can select a graph at the top and that is going to show us in the in play goal market. We can edit it. I, I change it to a gray graph just because it's easier to see with the blue ones, the gray rather than the white. And what this is telling us is, as we know, the market started at 1.78, which is roughly there. Um, it got into, it looks like about the 40th minute before a goal was scored. And then the market moves down as the market trickles along. There is another goal after an hour and three minutes of it being in play. And then you notice it finishes after an hour and seven. You're going to say to me, game 90 minutes plus 15 uh, and injury time. It's just because it only stops an hour and seven because this market then closed off because it reached over two and a half goals. But this is just a very simplistic way of accessing and viewing the Betfair data uh, from the historical site and being able to load it into Excel without learning uh, to program it or uh, trying to master Python or anything like that. It just allows you to inspect that um, that data. You can you can make the graph a second graph. If you wanted to view the unders market, we can just change that to the two and a half goal market, which will change at the top. And then we can change it to unders. And that will change the graph so you can view it a different way. Uh, you can view the uh, unders market and see how the price drifted out based on the goals um, if you again want a bit more of a zoomed in graph you can you can expand the graph to see it as a bigger graph now this is been a fairly complex video uh, if at any point you need to go back and rewatch it please do um, pause it and follow it step by step but um, you are just downloading the data and loading it into an application uh, a web-based application which then converts it into a CSV file uh, based on what you want to select you can get further help on this by asking questions in the comments. Remember to hit subscribe and like the video. Um, it was just the first in the series. And you can always join our Discord, which is a learning environment, which is also free as nothing at TTM is paid for a charge. And this will allow you to access our online community and ask any questions in the Discord also. And why not get yourself over to the Trading the Market Academy website where you can watch through any of our videos through the academy and use some of the more powerful tools in there. Well, this has been the Betfair Historical Data Simplification. I've been Mark. Until next time, happy trading.